What's up guys, I'm Mavs here and today we're looking at ratio. Now, with ratios, it's a large part of the exam. There are hundreds of questions um, that I could have picked with this and there's quite a lot of different types. So make sure ratios is one of those topics you make sure you are brilliant at um, in order to do well in future exams. Anyway, with that caveat out of the way, we've got Edexcel first up. And we're told we have uh, red, yellow, and orange. Ooh, I'm going to have to use purple. <laughs> orange buttons in a jar. Now, the order they say in the question is the order that they are in the ratio. So there's seven red four to four yellow to nine orange. Okay, so the order is important. And we're asked to work out the percentage of the buttons in the jar that are orange. Okay, so to work out the percentage, we actually have to first of all work it out as a fraction. Okay. And to find the fraction of orange, we are going to work out how many parts are orange. Well, nine parts are orange. And how many parts are there all together? Now, each of these in the ratio... Let's just highlight it. Each of these are parts, okay? So we've got seven parts to four parts to nine parts. So we've got nine parts orange, and how many are there in total? Well, that's just going to be seven plus four plus nine, which is 20. Ooh. 20, okay. Now we need to convert that into a percentage, okay? So to convert something into a percentage on a non-calculator paper, which this is, if it's a fraction, get the bottom to 100. Okay, simple as that. So what do I times 20 by to get to 100? Times it by 5. And with fractions, whatever you do to the bottom, you've got to do to the top. So 9 times 5 is 45. Now, if you have a, a fraction that's over 100, the top is a percentage. So it's 45%. Percent just means per 100. So 45 over 100 is 45 per 100, which is 45%. Simple as that. Next up, we've got OCR question. This is actually um, quite common now to have questions that involve two ratios and you having to com combine the two. Um, so this is definitely one to, to make sure we understand. So we are given men... To children and we're given it as uh, 11 to 3 and we're also given um, women to children so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to write that ratio the other way around okay so instead of 5 to 2 I'm going to do it children to women which would just be 2 to 5 now, the objective here is to get the uh, parts for the children the same. Okay, so looking at the parts, we've got the first ratio has three parts children. The second ratio has two parts children. So lowest common multiple of three and two is obviously going to be six. So we need to get them both so that they're six. So for this first one, I'm going to have to times that by two. And whatever you do to the left-hand side of a ratio, you've got to do to the right-hand side. So I'm going to times that by 2, which would be 22. And for the second ratio, I need to times that by 3. So I've got to do the same here, times that by 3, which would be 15. Now, if I just remove the children from it, you can see that it's going to be 22 to 15. And that actually is my answer. It's going to be 22 to 15. Okay, so when you're combining ratios, just make sure the um, part that they have in common, or the side they have in common, which in this one is children, has the same amount. So I converted 11 to 3 into 22 to 6, and I converted 5 to 2 into 15 to, 20, uh, 15 to 6. And then you can combine them together. Okay, not not easy skill, but it's one that is coming up a lot more frequently in the exams. Now, the next question says, we know that there are 36 children uh, in the village. Now, 
it's uh, important to remind you on OCR paper 2 is a known calculator paper so we don't have a calculator for this but we do have the ratio that involves all of the people right so we've got men children and women okay so all I need to do here is convert this into 36 now how am I going to do that? I'm going to times that by 6 and that will give me 36 but whatever I do to one side of a ratio I've got to do to the other side or in this case the other sides so I've got times this by 6 and I've got times this by 6 so 15 times 6 to do that you do 10 times 6 and 5 times 6 and add them together should be 90 Okay, and 22 times 6 again I mean we could do um, 10 times 6 so 20 times 6 which is 120 2 times 6 which is 12 add the 2 together it would be 132 then since the children is the correct amount then the men and women will be the correct amount too so we just need to add them together so I could use the column method for adding okay so 2 plus 6 is 8 3 plus 3 plus 9 would be 15 and then 1 plus 1 is going to be 2 and so the answer is 258 last up we have AQA and this question is all about purple paint so we've got five parts red and two parts blue but we know we only have 30 litres of red paint and nine litres of blue now I'm going to start off this question just completely ignoring the nine litres of blue paint I'm going to pretend we've got infinite blue paint so we've got our ratio five to two and we know we've got 30 litres of red paint so we're going to times that by well how do we get to 30 well, we times it by 6 and so we've got to times this side by 6 which would be 12 now that means I'll need 12 litres of blue paint for my 30 litres of red paint we now we know we don't have the, um, 12 litres of blue paint we only have 9 litres so the red we've got loads of it's the blue that we, we, is going to work that is going to run out so we're going to start again and we're going to completely ignore the 30 litres of red paint we know we've got enough of that but I'm going to see um, how much red paint we need for our 9 litres of blue paint. So we've got to figure out what do we times 2 by to get to 9. Well, it's a calculator paper, as you can see. Paper 3 on AQA is calculator. So I could do 9 divided by 2, which would give me 4.5. So I'm times that side by 4.5. I've got to times this side by 4.5. And so again, get the calculator out. And you do 5 times 4.5 and you get the answer of 22.5 so 22.5 now we've got 30 litres of red paint so 22.5 is not a problem now the question asks us for the maximum amount of purple paint so not red not blue but purple so we've got to work out how much purple we need so purple purple paint is going to be the amount of red paint plus the amount of blue paint that we use so again calculator out 22.5 plus 9 is going to give us 31.5 so it'd be 31.5 is the maximum amount of purple paint that we'll use i hope you like that video if you do please click like it really helps the channel out if you want to see more from us we release video every single day uh, weekday monday to friday so click subscribe make sure you're up to date with those if you want to see even more from us, we have a wonderful website on maths.com with loads of free resources. You can even sign up for free to save your scores. So there's going to be a card that magically appears as I speak. Click on it, it will take you to the site and you can sign up. Or you don't have to sign up, you can just browse the website. You will need to sign up to take part in our summer school though. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow.